to StarCast, a premier streaming network. And I am very excited to announce two very special guests, Renee Paquette and our AEW Women's World Champion, Soraya. Please welcome them to the stage. Everybody, thank you guys for staying. I know it's so late. There's so much going on. Oh, we hello, hello. Lot. There we go. Thank oh you guys my for god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What's up, you guys? It's very quiet today. That's for sure. It's a quiet day. I mean, there's a lot going on. We're all busy, you know. So, oh, calm down. Everyone relax. Yeah. Guys, welcome to Off Topic. This yes. Is very first. Oh my gosh, there's a baby in the crowd. That baby needs to go to bed then. Yeah, throw the baby over here. I'm just Give kidding, me that kid. Baby. Give me that baby. Yeah. No, seriously, bring the baby over. <laughs> <laughs> Let me rock that baby. Yeah, so how's everyone doing today? Yeah, we're all hyped. It's 10 o'clock at night. I should be in bed by now. Oh, it's well past my bedtime, but here we are. We're riding the high from London. I'm still yeah. in, uh, was it British summertime? Is that a thing? It's a time. It yeah. is a time. Yeah, to go a... from all in, now buckling up for all yeah. out, we decided to throw in creating a podcast on yeah. top of that. <laughs> yeah. Because there's just too much to do. But we have been talking about doing a show together for a long time. A long time. A long, long time. Actually, it was, it's been years. Years. So Renee and I obviously go way back. Oh, yeah. We got, came in around the same time. Maybe you were there a little bit longer than I was. No, I think you were there a little bit because you were at FCW. Oh, we're so old. Well, I know. It's been a uh, while. <laughs> but we, we met each other very early on. Yeah, we did. In, in our time in America. Yes, we did. Oh, Commonwealth. A couple Commonwealth. Let's touch Just mics. getting after it. Boop. Yeah. Boop, boop. That was so, for the queen. Well, yeah, yeah, and her corgis. Save her. Rest in peace. But anyway, yeah, so we were, we have been friends for a very, very long time, and everyone, you know... The Joan Jett to my Blondie, the, the, right. the, the Gar Wayne. Wayne to my Garth, the Tina to my Amy. That's right. What else did we have? We had a long we list. We had a bunch. We used to do them at Fox all the time, a different yeah, intro did. all the time, yeah. Yeah, and we, we did shows like that. We did, we did Toa Divas, we did The Fox Show, and everyone was like, you guys need a show together, you guys need a show together. So we thought we'd give it a little test drive. So we said, you know what? What's everyone doing at 10 p.m.? <laughs> At this hotel, let's gather a few people. An and hour and a half away from the show this weekend. <laughs> this so is perfect. Truly, thank you guys. Um, With traffic. Yes. All right, so we're doing the show. We're all excited. Great, great, great. But let's move past that to the fact that you are now the AEW Women's Champion. Lizzie, bring my championship out here, sis. Bring it out. Get your yeah. Let's let's Lizzie, put it right come on. here. Andale, muchacha. Let's go. Lizzie. There we go. Lizzie. 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 All right, everybody. This is Lizzie, by the way. All right, we're going to do little questions in a little bit. She'll be the one putting the mic in your face in a little bit. She be has nice no idea. I just told her, her that. Give her treats. We don't even have a plan for today, you guys. We were like, what the fuck are we going to do? There's a baby here. A I know. There's a baby. Decorum. I mean, yeah, that's right. I'm so sorry. That's the baby's first word. Wait for it. That thing just popped out. That thing is tiny. Actually, my daughter did mutter under her breath. I was no. changing her diaper one day, and the diaper wasn't there when I went. She had to go, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> and she, she goes, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> it, it was very funny. I feel like um, you, you and John being a mom and dad, that girl is doomed in the cuss yeah, department. Yeah, I actually swear more than he does. So unfortunately, I have no that one guy to blame grunts. but myself. Yeah, he grunts a lot. Okay. <laughs> But we, I don't want to skirt past the fact that you are now the AEW Women's Champion. Not to make this just like truly an emotional moment, but yeah. it is really crazy to think of like, gosh, when we first met, you were a child. I was a slightly older, young child. adult. <laughs> that but <rem> to <laughs> Wait, that reminds me. Oh. Sorry, I'm going to cut you off for a second. Oh, but we were both This is how the show is going to go. We're not going to get anywhere. We don't know where the fuck we're going with this. Yeah. But it just... Well, I feel like we're both ADHD and we just go into different spots. But anyway. Buckle up. The, the other day, we were just like, we both had to do this uh, for a TV show. Um, what's the word? What show? A commercial? Not spirit Fingers. That's not where I'm going An with ad? it. That's just my thought process happening right here. 
No, we had to do, like, you posted it. It's like a, a, a commercial, an ad, an no, no, no. Instagram post. No, 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 we had to, what the, it's like Pictionary or something like that. Fuck it. Uh, we, what the fuck, where you try out, not try out for a movie, but what's the word? An audition! Audition! Oh. Guys, we've been in this business a long time. Oh my just an God. audition. I, mean. I did it! Anyway, we both had to do an audition. And the girl that we were trying to audition for was someone that was like 21. And we both <laughs> just looked at each other like, we ain't getting this no, no. role, sis. Does she have an older sister? Perhaps a mother. Yeah, an even. aunt I can play of her. some kind. No problem. Yeah, we, yeah sorry. Continue um, with what we're doing. Yeah, okay. champion. I'm a champion. She's a champion. But it really is crazy to imagine the time and how sad it was for obviously especially you, but I think for me, for all of us as fans, to think that you were retired, you were done from the ring, mm -hmm. to the conversations that you and I were having during a little moment of like, what are we going to do with our future? And we're like, you know what? Let's go to All Elite Wrestling. Yeah. Let's show up there. I mean, when I was at your debut at Arthur Ashe Stadium. I actually got yelled at by one of the uh, guys in production because I was standing on a big... Uh, truck thing that I shouldn't have been on because I <laughs> needed to get the video. But to think oh, yeah. of like all these moments to now you having that championship to winning it in London, your whole family was there. You got to come out to the Queen music. Like it's Thanks crazy. Missouri. Mikey Man. Yeah. He's on it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but I mean, awesome. what a journey for you. Dude, it was, uh, yeah, it was insane. And we talk about this all, all the time. It, like, because we, this is why we have a, need a show together because we've been friends with each other through everything. Oh, yeah. Even in that awful year and a half. Renee was brave enough to come and visit me in San Antonio. I was like, blink twice, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I'm trapped. I got you. I'm in danger. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, we've been, we've been for a lot. And then to do this, and the reason, one of the reasons, one of the big reasons why I came to AEW is because Renee was going to be there too. So it was like, it was just a very special moment. I was like, if she's there, I'm there. Simpatico. Yeah, that's we right. Had to We're do doing it. it together. And now our show is here. We're doing it. This is the first episode of Off Topic. But there's another person that we can kind of bring into the mix that also was a part of these conversations. Yeah. Of like, you know what? If you're going and you're going and you're going, let's bring out Mike Mansuri. He is the co-executive producer of All Elite Wrestling. Let's get you. Yeah, there we go. What's up here? <laughs> There's a mic right here. You can come sit right next to me. This so, guy is like quite literally my little guardian angel. I feel like he is a guy that's like on my shoulder. He gets me through every show, live shots. He, him and I have done a million different shows together from obviously our time at WWE together, but big part of luring him into uh, AEW. Now he's here. He's yeah. the best. Yeah. Hi, Mike. Yeah. So just so Hi, you everybody. guys, he's executive producer. So, okay, so we put this in WWE terms for a second. He's like... There's Tony Khan, who's the Vince McMahon, and then there was Kevin Dunn, who is Mike Bansiri here. But he's the one who created, like, the, how the NXT made that big turn and became this freaking great, awesome, like, experience and show is because of Mike Bansiri here. But he's the best. Ooh, he really, yeah. like, he It's helps, true. Wow. He, he really, like, he helps so much talent with, like, their entrances and with yep. promos and, like, obviously, you know, I mean, you just came off of producing All In to do London, yeah. to be a part of Wembley. What was that experience like for you to be in the truck and pull that show together? Uh, I am still in the midst of the largest wrestling hangover that I've ever <laughs> experienced in my entire life. Uh, it was a, uh, it's one of those moments, right, that, you know, when the curtain's about to come close on life that will stick with me until they put me in the ground. It was probably the most accomplished I've ever felt doing anything. Honestly, probably since we did NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, the first one, right? Yeah. Up, until, up until last Sunday, that was always kind of like the centerpiece in things that I had been fortunate enough to lead. And uh, Sunday... It, it, took, it took a little bit for it to really set in and be like, mm -hmm. holy shit, we, we just did that. I think that was for everybody to feel that way. I think it was sort of feeling like that. You're like on a roller coaster going up the hill, up the hill, up the hill, waiting to like go on that ride and to have pulled it off to the extent that we did. I mean, the show was such a huge success. And then to jump back across, back to the United States and now get ready for All Out, it's like my head is still spinning. It's yeah, nice. well, you know, look, right? That was, that was last Sunday, as someone once said, but... Tomorrow's the next show. Sure is. Also, just so you know, it's his fault that I got um, Queen as my entrance music too. <laughs> How awesome is that? I remember we were discussing it, it was, and then... It was my fault and Tony's money. And Tony's... I saw, <laughs> what, what a great boss? combination. 
deep pockets, that guy. Wait till he sees that pyro bill from all in. <laughs> yeah, 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 I remember yeah, yeah, you yeah. were showing, he was walking around and he was showing everybody like what, I never had pyro in my whole wrestling career. So you, you were just did like, it? never. Never, never once. Never. Wow. I, think, I think we tried doing like smoke or like the cryo gas at NXT once or twice, but it just never really fit. Never, never panned out. So like it was really cool that I was like, man, I'm just excited that I'm even getting pyro. And then you were just like, and then you told me, nah, it's probably not gonna happen with Queen. I was like, oh, it's okay. Pyro is good enough for me, right? It's awesome. Wrestling at Wembley, I'm cool with pyro. But then he came up to me and he was like, hey. And he just stares <laughs> at me and I'm just like, did we get it? And he was just like, and I'm he didn't say, say yes. Yeah, I'm not going to say yes. And I was like, oh, my God. I just started screaming. Okay, here's stuff. the question, though, because you've never walked out to We Will Rock You before. Did it take you a second to go, what do I have to do for my entrance differently? Because the, the speed of the song is going to be Slow. different. The moments that you're going to like, like, when do you start walking? You've got your whole family with you. Were you kind of rethinking your entrance when you found out you got it? I kind of tuned out. Do you know why? Because there's like over 81,000 people there. And you're just like, everything's a big blur. And you know what's really strange, too, with the sound in a stadium? When there's no roof, yeah, it goes out. And so you can't hear anybody. It's like you can hear a pin drop out there. It's very bizarre how sound works. Yeah, it just go, it goes right out through that opening. But like for you, right, like in the afternoon, like when we rehearsed your entrance in the afternoon, yeah. we used your music because I didn't want anyone to hear it. Like even the folks on the outside, I didn't want anyone to hear We Will Rock You until... We were live on pay-per-view. Yeah, he like saved it for the very last second. Save wow. that pop, the baby. Save that pop. The magic of TV. So Make cool. it magic. Yes. That's um, right. So, Mike, while we've got you out here, and we were just kind of giving the little rundown of like our friendship, us showing up here to AEW, to, to you getting into AEW, what was a big draw for you to want to come and be a part of, of this show? You tricked me. <laughs> I did. It was, it was a thing. I was like, though. wait, I need you. I yeah. personally need you here. Oh, it's, a fu- it's a funny story, right? Like how it all kind of came to be. So, oh, no. right, like I was living in Singapore. I was running production for one championship. And, you know, right, having one of those moments where you feel like the, uh, the prettiest girl at the dance where everybody wants to dance with you. <laughs> it was true. Fun- funny enough, there was something that happened here internally at AEW. And there, you know, Vince stepping down at WWE. So in Singapore, I was 12, 13 hours ahead of you guys on the East Coast. And I wake up one morning, and I just got a litany of text messages from both sides. And you were on there, and you were like, hey, dude. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hey, would you want to have some conversations with AEW? And then some folks at AEW had also texted as well. So I was like, all right, shit. All right, let's, uh, things like this in life don't happen yeah. too often. So let's, let's, you know, let's have some conversations. Let's talk about it. I mean, even up until the point, right, my first experience, I come back from the U.S. for Thanksgiving, and I show up to full gear in Newark. Yes. And I see your two smiling faces, literally. Join as us. If they basically just set out like a bear trap and just put candy <laughs> in the middle, and were waiting for me to just kind of put an ankle in just to kind of clamp me in. Yeah. But it was the vibe, right? It was the vibe of AEW. And I said this a while ago when I had done a Conrad show, what, and even when we talked on the sessions, rest in peace, um, <laughs> See ya. It, it, really, it really reminded me, it being AEW, really reminded me of that magical moment, that magical time that we had had at NXT, right? That like 2013, 14, 15 range where it was this just incredibly, you know, limitless roster of just untapped talent, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's, it was like I, I, I said to Conrad, I was like, it's like an unpolished gem. Mm-hmm. And to be able to have the opportunity to come in work with a lot of new talent, work with established talent, work with you who, I mean, I don't think a lot of people realize, and this isn't like meant to be like braggadocious or anything. Let's change how it. Much, <laughs> but like how much content and different style of programming that we created at WWE, right? Like yeah. we created the formats for the kickoff shows. Yeah. We created Talking Smack. We created Raw Talk. The he original was all Talking Smack, by the way. That was all him. Great stuff, right? It was, that was it, but, all, but, it was me, him, and Brian, and that was what, like really pulling that stuff together just for Context but that's what brilliance. made it fun, right? Is like we, we had that opportunity to create with no shackles, yeah. right? Like it was just the three of us and whatever talent that we were able to kind of pull in and give people a platform to really shine in a way that they weren't getting the chance to do on TV. Yeah. So that was the big allure to me. It's like, oh man, this is just kind of unexplored territory and there's a lot of potential. And at that point, 
AEW had already reached these insane heights that no one would have ever predicted for an upstart company that basically just materialized off an idea <laughs> and a bit of a movement for something different. And here I am now. You got you, you, you tricked me. Oh yeah, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's truly one of the most talented people, though. I mean, oh, yeah. to, to be able to see you now be able to get your hands on things and mold them. And anyways, I'm super pumped. Well, Where are you going? Sorry, Who's I got leaving? distracted. How dare you? All right, sorry, continue. No, that security guard out there looks like Terry Taylor in these lights. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we have a litany of guests joining us here yeah, tonight. You should stay here. I'm gonna, oh, I'm you're hang staying. Up. Yeah, you I'm should stay up. here. All right, so who's ready for the next guest? Ooh. Here we go. All right, so we're going to take it way back again. Again, we were like uh, three stooges or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Back, back in the day. And uh, she recently just posted for my birthday with this lady too. And um, this woman, the first day that I came over to America, she was one of the first faces that I saw, and she was the only one who was fucking sweet to me when I first came over here. Out of the ladies' locker room back then. The ladies' locker room, they, they're not around anymore, but for a reason, bitches. <laughs> um, but this, this, this she woman is was always just an absolute fucking angel to me. She's all right. And I remember my mom got her in a wrestling move in my living room within the first couple of weeks of her knowing me. Uh, my mom's an absolute disaster, but do you want to say My old writing us? partner, too, her yeah. and I had just traveled across the globe until I shacked up with the psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, please welcome out Danielle Monet. Yeah. A.K.A. Summer Ray. Hey, call there she to is. me, call to me. That's right. Hi, sister. I hit your entrance music. Do the dance. I can't believe call you called me a lady. Me. I know. You're like this lady and this woman. I was like, who are they calling on stage? <laughs> Ma'am. So Ma we, we had this idea. So we don't really have an idea of what we're going to do today. It was very like, ah, oh, quickly put someone together. But in the long run, we are going to be doing something special. You know, this is going to be a seasonal thing where you get 10 episodes, we take a break, come back again. But there is going to be uh, parts of the... You looking for somebody? Oh, Hello. No. Here we go. Um, here. There is going to be a, 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 a segment just for her, and it's Danielle Does Anything. Yes. So Danielle we would like does. to pitch you this idea and see yes. if you guys are interested. Are you familiar with... Um, Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie, The Simple Life, and you know, they're just like Jack off. doing all these things all over the country. You really reach deep for that yeah. one. The Simple <laughs> Life. The really? Simple Life is great. Really yeah. reach deep. How fun would it be to just see like the three of us on a farm and you know, Saraya in cowboy boots and like I'm perhaps like milking a cow or like Shoving a hand in, inside a cow. You know, there. There's been like a couple ideas we threw around. Well, on text Renee message. had an idea okay. about her getting okay. punched in the face by a okay. UFC fighter. Oh, yeah. And I was like, I feel like this is too far, but this was before she had her Sometimes baby. you just, you know, spitballing some ideas. Yeah. And I was I like, I think I can take a punch. She wants to dive. Not but for now, no money. You have strong job. Money. Yeah. Like $100,000. I'm actually I'm not sure. We need to get paid for that. Yeah. But Danielle is willing to try stuff. Anything. And yeah. Like, she looks like I such a lady very put together but she's an absolute fucking nutcase yes. i tell you every, all the time i'm just like she she's always doing something new every single week i'm like what's happening now and then she's like by the way my friend got us a yacht a yeah. fucking 18, 18 foot yacht i was like what are you doing on a i was yacht? like on monday we're going on this boat so if you guys want to shoot you know the beginning of like off topic on my yacht <laughs> like, um, where did you we could do yacht? like you know like boats and hoes like yeah. the fun. <laughs> and like this is like literally what we're talking about she's like Back up, why do you have a yacht? And I was like, oh, I don't know. My friend lives in Chicago, and, like, we got, like, a tray. So I do feel like I do have, like, a very random life. I'll be in Paris Fashion Week in three weeks. I'm like, you guys could come to Paris and, yeah. like, sit front row at my fashion next show. Next, she'll have a hand How's that for ends, right. How's that for ends of the spectrum so, in life, huh? Yeah, none of this All has anything to do with anything. Paris Fashion yeah. Week. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> where are we going um, but here's the thing that I just learned. We were sitting back in the green room, and we're all just bullshitting, and uh, Danielle told me that one of her dreams was to work for QVC. <laughs> and she would be exceptional at QVC because really she can good. sell ice to a snowman. A snow snowman. snowman. <laughs> so here's what I would like you to do. Can you tell people about? Oh my God! This shoe. Oh, guys. sell us the shoe. Here we go. Put it on the spot. This reminds me of when you know, like Dusty Rose, when he used to make us do promos. She knows. Yeah. She knows the deal. Sell us the oh. shoe, baby. Sell Dusty Rose shoe, baby. would always say if we were taking an Uber or a cab, and they were like, "What do you do for a living?" He would want you to like practice your promos. <laughs> 
And so, like, you know, we would get black eyes, and I'd always be like, oh, the shark, you know, is really swimming in the water, and the shark <laughs> over here. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a boot here. That is right. It is vegan, vegan lever. We do not kill animals, and it is about six inches. I'm not sure, because men lie, so I don't know what six <laughs> inches look like. And, uh, yes, there's a zipper on the side, and it goes all the way back to Ginger Spice with the Spice Girl. Oh. oh go boots. And... Oh, lovely. <laughs> like lavender. That Renee. I've been in that thing a minute. And yeah. I will be Spicy. selling this on my OnlyFans page now. Beautiful. Hey! What's the price point? Oh, price yeah. point, you know, is $39. Okay. Um, I thought you were going to make it up at $69. It's been worn. It's been worn. Oh. A thousand. Wiki feet. <laughs> a thousand. Going once, <laughs> going twice. Signed? Wiki feet me. Is it going once, going too? twice, going three times. I also. Um, Work for horse racing. Um, I, just I just called the triple, <laughs> called the triple crown. I just wheezed into the microphone. Um, yeah, so I'm going to Paris Fashion Week. I also do horse racing. Would you like to buy this shoe? Yeah. I don't know. So people always ask me when they see me posting the horse racing on my Instagram. They're like, are you the person that goes coming around the corner? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, no. That's a crazy job. Mm -hmm. What do you call that? Wait, what is it? The, the man that does the like play by play the for the horses. The play by play announcer. He's like coming around the Here he is coming around the bend. I'm going to the final stretch. Crazy. Your resume I want to see like you a do kids that. collage. No, I'm like, color, shoe bag. I'm like color commentary. I'm like, oh, that jockey's like really cute. Like, that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Until you stand next to him and he's three foot five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A jockey, fun fact a jockey had, can only be 125 pounds. Including the saddle. Tiny. Wow. Oh. Including the saddle of the horse. So when they get off, they ri they do their weigh-ins before, and then they weigh in in the winner's circle when they get off the horse. And oh my god! You and must be like a tree to them. Oh my god! To be fair, I've never taken a picture with the jockey. You but need I know to. all of them, and I'm always like so pissed. That's like, quality take, content. You know? That should be like a theme. One twenty-five. You're giving Snapple facts off on off topic. This Guys, is beautiful. This is this is good. Make sure to tweet me about that. But. Is Jake in here, by the way? Yeah, should we take some, um, yeah, he's Is in Jake the audience. In no, he's not. He just appeared. He's not here today. Lizzie, I he Lizzie was. you want to come out here with a microphone? All right. We've got about 10 minutes left, you guys. Oh. You just started clapping. He's trying to get us the fuck off the stage already. Hey, sit down. we got 10 minutes. Don't make me come over there. I swear to fucking Lucifer. Well, let's take some right. questions. Anything you want, anyone up here, whatever you guys want to talk about, let's have a time. Yeah, if you have any questions and stuff like that, Lizzie is over here, the wonderful Lizzie with the microphone. Oh. You have Summer Ray here. You can ask her a bunch of questions. You have Mike Manzuri, the ins and outs of all things wrestling. And our AEW Women's Champion. You can talk to so me about uh, drugs. I'm just kidding. Oh. Don't do that. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, pass myself by diet on just that one. Just kidding. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just joking. We're, we're, we're recording this. Sorry, Meech, our manager. <laughs> Meech is like pissed. Does yeah. anyone have a question? No Anybody, question. if you like Oh, here we go at the back. There we it's go. It's past 10 p.m. Lizzie, run, so run, will... run, 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 run. You're not faster. There we go. You got we it. We will spill the tea. Hey, uh, this is a question for, for uh, Renee. Oh. What Fuck do you it. like? <laughs> what do you like most? about your husband, and what is the thing that drives you crazy about your husband? Ooh, good okay. question. <laughs> Here comes the list. <laughs> Things that I love about my husband, I mean, God, what a, he's a good guy, you know? He's just, he's a good guy. Um, very good choice and partner. Um, I could rattle off a bunch of really sweet things that I love about him, but that's not why we're here tonight. <laughs> Let's talk about the shit Give us the juice. me off. Give us the juice. He is so messy. <laughs> Like, I cannot. Oh, like that. I, but it's, cr I just have never seen anything like this in my oh, life. Okay. You know what he does? He, so he walks around with suckers all the it's time. Okay. It's okay. He fucking just leaves them <laughs> on the table and walks away. He takes gum out of his mouth and leaves it on the table and then moves on with his day. What the fuck? It's I love that this crazy. Is a, I love that this is a non-wrestling question too. I really appreciate oh that. My, this is I, the nitty gritty stuff that people need to hear. I could go for twenty five minutes. Keep going. I love him so much, but fuck. Yeah. Oh, he does some things that just drive me does up the like, wall. Does he like leave his clothes around? It's the clothes. Like it's okay, so thing. he had like a pile of laundry that had been accumulating for months, and like just because he wears white t-shirts, he'll just go buy a new thing of white t-shirts, and it's just a mess everywhere. I yep. cleaned it all the other day like a total chump. 
because I couldn't look at it anymore. So Ronnie does that where he like, <sighs> I'll wash his socks, but he'll just go out and buy more. Yes. So there's just yes. so many fucking socks everywhere. And it's the problem when you travel all the time because your yeah. luggage is out. Then there's like your stuff you keep oh, at home. Somewhere. There's your stuff you keep in your bag. It's a disaster. Do you do that to your missus? One hundred percent. It's a man thing. My, my, is... my suitcase is just always left open. No, mine too. In uh, our bedroom. Yeah. Mine too. Like I'm, I'm pretty neat, but when it comes to like stuff like that, like. Why wash it when I just buy new stuff? I know. I, that's such a, a, an annoying thing to it's say. A it's, it's a dude thing. It's a dude yeah. thing. It is true. Anyways, shout out to John. Do we have any more juicy questions? Oh, Lizzie oh, in the front Lizzie, here, sister. Run, 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 run. Oh, just the kid? Right. Getting her steps in. Getting her steps in. What are you all drinking over there? Is that it's, booze? No, it's Coke. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, you guys are young. Yeah. You're like booze? 12 years old. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're girls. Um, I have two questions. Uh-oh. Soraya, what is your favorite thing about Renee? And Aww. Then, and then Renee, what's your favorite thing about love Soraya? Love it. Love it, she love it. She is really good at making out. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's great in the sack. Wow, she is <laughs> top notch. No, uh, uh, but that, that aside. What's sorry, this thing that rated? Can you ask that question? <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm being blinded by the light right now. I can't see faces. So. <laughs> I can't think straight. Yeah, I can't. Uh. Um, no, she is just a very... Everybody loves Renee. Everybody. You're not going to come across a person that does not like Renee. If they, if they do, they're a fucking psychopath. <laughs> but she is just a very selfless person. She has no ego about her. She's just very... She's like a comfort person for me. I'm like 100%. a weighted blanket of That's love. That's right. She is my warmed weighted blanket. Yes. That's right. Thank you. Was there anyone that you had an issue with in w- or had an issue with you in WWE? Here comes the shoot podcast. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> yeah. Because I think like we could name one, per- but I don't know if I could Who? name someone with you. I, think, I can only Davis. think oh. of one, and he's a lunatic um, uh-huh. that we don't need to talk about. Yes, me uh, too. <laughs> My, no, no. You say no, Mike Mansuri. Good. You're like, oh shit, he's right here. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. What did you do? Whoopsies. Uh, my favorite thing about Soraya, I, I wrote this in my birthday post for her because it's just her birthday. She's 31 now. Okay. Wowzers. I'm older okay. than you, so yeah, I'm I know, to say but that. settle down. She truly is like a, a, a magnet. Like, I feel like you just have this electricity about you. And, like, truly, from the first time that I met her, when we were, like, doing the whole, like, run back to when I first met her at, uh, at NXT, I was like, who's that chick? I want to be friends with her, like, right off the bat. And, yeah, I mean, she just ha- she's magnetic. I'm so famous. Drawn to this, <laughs> drawn to this broad. Sign me up. She just oh, has a really you. cool energy that you want to be around. Like, she's a cool chick that you're just like, can I have a little of what you got? That's why I hang out with her. I'm trying to steal I her stole it magic. Her. I stole the source of all my powers from But her. she'll if tell you, like, she'll tell you how to, like, she's not going to kiss your ass. No. Like, oh, no. I get yeah. in a lot of trouble because of that. Yeah. I would love for 31-year-old Soraya to go back and hang out with 18-year-old Soraya. No, no, yes. no, no, no. I, I would kick my ass. The little, like, backward <laughs> hat. Oh, my snapback. I lived in that snapback. And I, I used to always put, still put, like, that concealer on my lips, even though it was way out of date, you know? That's a very British thing to it's do. It's very British. I just looked, I mean, look at us now. I mean, fucking hell. Well, you always look good, but I look like absolute dog shit. Some of you get, some of you were in my line earlier and showed me pictures, and I'm just like, what do they do? Oh, it's the worst. It's awful. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, how long have I been ugly? Tell me. Yeah. It's awful. Uh, but anyway. Uh, did you have a second question, by the way? It was a two. Oh, that was oh, a oh, oh. Well, never mind. Oh, a little he, tip he for tap. Lizzie? Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry we've been cursing. Hello. <laughs> That's what I mean. You get blinded. And you oh, my goodness. Just poisoning the He youth. watches wrestling. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, when Tony Storm yelled, did it hurt, actually hurt your ears? <laughs> what did you say? When Tony Storm yells? Yeah. Did it hurt oh, yeah. Ears? Like a banshee. <laughs> <laughs> Just loud. Incredibly loud, annoying, but question. I love her. I do love her. All right, any more questions for us? Oh, run right in the back, Lizzie. Run, run, run. Sorry. I like that they're at the front, in the back, in the front, in the back. We're really making you guys keep her on her toes. It. See, this is where you could do your play by play. Here goes Lizzie. She's yeah, running around the back. around the corner. <laughs> Coming around the corner. She's scooped down. She's got the mic in his face, and his question is <laughs> There you go. If you could bring one WWE wrestler over to AEW, who Ooh. would it be and why? All right. You I got mine. I got mine. Ready? Should we, can should I say mine? That? Oh, you go first. Yeah, go first. The Viper. The Viper? The Viper. Randy, Randy Orton. Orton? That's a good one. I love Randy. I Mike, who do, you, who do you think? Well, Ra- Randy Orton was definitely the, the top choice. of my list. Was he? 
No, oh, 100%. He's the best. I, just more so for the backstage Randy yeah. than for the Randy in front of the <laughs> yeah. camera. He's Randy so in front of the camera is incredible. Randy behind the scenes is even better. <laughs> um, hmm, that's a, that's a tricky one. Probably, okay. I would probably want Colby here. I think I'd want Seth Rollins here. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, I think that there's a lot of fantasy booking off of Seth Rollins versus blah, 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 and yeah. Seth and da-da-da, like, of yeah. course. I'm it's great to see Seth and John come together now at this point in their lives yeah. and yeah. their careers, you know what I mean? I know, yeah. I would love to see that, too. And Agreed. especially because, like, Seth just put over and acknowledged um, All In, and so, yeah. <laughs> just me on the dirt sheets. <laughs> um, but I think that's cool when, <laughs> like, Seth everyone can, like... You know, like, we all don't have to pretend that, like, we're against each other. Like, this is the best time for wrestling. And, you know, there's nothing to take away yep. from, like, the people in the past. But especially when certain old people sit and they're like, oh, they can't work. They can't this and that. And it's just like, there's a little something for everyone. You have yeah. something in WWE, Ring of Honor, Impact, AW. And when we look back on this time, I think everyone's going to be like, damn, that was a good time. And... We know about our bodies now. We have concussion protocols. We some people don't eat meat or cheese or whatever it is, and like there's longevity of like our muscles. So I think yeah. th this line of wrestlers are going to be wrestling until they're look at Sting. I mean wrestling. Oh until, my God! And he's Sting from the amazing. old days when they didn't have the concussion pro yeah. protocols. So I just think it's like a really good time for wrestling. So yeah, Colby well, would be great. Kevin Owens. But like, it, it, ooh, you ooh. know what? I was Sammy gonna, Zane. I was say, uh, Sammy. I was just say Sammy are you? Zane. But also Shinsuke. Oh! oh. Girl. I love Shinsuke. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shinsuke. Ah. All we right. Should we get one more question in and then we're going to wrap it up? Oh, we got one. Oh, we got two. All right. Uh -oh. Let's take these two. Yeah, two Dueling people. questions. Lizzie, run, Lizzie. Lizzie, run. You are too corner. slow, woman. You are too slow. She, yeah, you are. I really like the Seth answer, by the She's way. The Seth left. and, and uh, Shinsuke her? answers were great. The question is for Renee. Uh, so, how much input do you have oh, when it comes to backstage session, uh, backstage segments, and did you was it your idea to have Chris Taylor uh, put you on her shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> to have, sorry, what was the last part? To have what? To have Chris Statlander put you on your shoulders. Oh, no, that was all Statlander. That was her. She's like, her can so I much. squat you? I was like, can you? Like, I would Let's try it. it. I've never felt heavier in my life. I'm a sandbagger. That's why I don't wrestle. I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I'm like, me next. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I try to contribute in there as much as I can. I mean, that's the really cool thing with AEW is like all of the talent and all of the characters, they bring so much to the table. So if I can kind of chime in and steer someone in a different direction or, hey, let's try it this way or even just from like blocking, you stand here, you stand here, this is the out, whatever. Um, yeah, I definitely chime in there as much as I can, but it's cool because we just kind of get to get in there and try stuff out and see what works. So I'm you're, do my you're being best. modest right now. A lot of people don't know this about Renee when she came over. So Renee is one of the few talents at AEW that also actually has a producer credit because <laughs> her experience behind the scenes That means I get is paid twice. Invaluable. I'm just kidding. A little double dip never hurt anybody. <laughs> but no, but like for for me in that position yeah. to have you back there Right, you kind of just don't have to worry about it because you got somebody with a vast, you know, like wealth of knowledge to impart. But again, even as simple things as like blocking and stuff like it's, that, but right? But that like stuff makes such a difference. It's the little difference. nuances yeah. of what we do that people don't realize that makes such a difference in what we present. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Um, and yeah, it's it is. It's really cool to be able to kind of chime in there when I think of like God. I've been able to interview everybody, and like I've been in almost every possible scenario, interview wise. So it's cool to be able to now apply that here. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> that son of a. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie's like, that's my microphone. <laughs> it's mine. Yeah, never let them take the mic. Yeah. Okay, sorry, that's a sorry. rule. That's yeah, a rule. <laughs> Just a random question for Mike. Do you have any one FC stories? Uh, yeah, this is a, this is a great story from one. So, we were doing the first ever show last August for one on uh, Prime Video, and the main event was Demetrius Johnson and Adriana Marias. Right, it's DJ trying to avenge getting knocked out by Adriano the year prior. And I had this random idea that came to me for a, a shot on DJ's entrance. And luckily, DJ, he gets the entertainment aspect of MMA. Like, he understands the presentation part of it. And literally, before he's about to walk out to his fight, I had one of our backstage managers run up to DJ 
and say, hey, Mike's got this crazy idea that he wants to try with you. It's basically just getting DJ to do like his superhero pose in the center of the, of the circle while we had the camera just running after him to just do a 360 about it. DJ was like, oh, yeah, that sounds cool, man. All right, I'll do it. And then proceeds to go in there and knock the dude out. <laughs> but, like, you know, it was one of those things that came so quickly, but then you kind of have to take a step back, right, because wrestling's entertainment. That guy was going to get in there and get into a real fight with somebody, and here we are minutes before he walks out asking him to just walk into the center of the circle, do a little stupid pose just for the sake of the camera shot, but he got it, and he went right into it and got a dope knockout. Yeah. And just to piggyback on a good Demetrius Johnson story, John doesn't ever get starstruck by anybody, but when we lived in Las Vegas, we were at a casino that DJ was at, and he like, went into the bathroom, and John's like, do I wait? Do I wait? I kind of want to see him. I want to say hi. <laughs> like, John, he's that. just such a fight fan, and I mean, when you talk about somebody like Demetrius Johnson, you're like, oh my God, this guy's such a legend. So yeah, to see John's like, I want to like, get a picture with so him. Crazy. I don't, do I wait for him outside the bathroom? That's weird. I know that's inappropriate. But yeah, I, very funny. Yeah, I think I Rich Franklin is still waiting to go out to dinner with you guys. <laughs> yes. yes. It'll happen. It'll happen. Sweet. Well, thank you guys so much thank for coming on to this. Thank you for staying with us. I know it's late. Yeah. Um, we really appreciate it. It's a really long week for everybody, but we're really excited for All Out. We're going to absolutely yeah. crush it and put on a hell, of a hell of a show for you guys this Sunday. Yeah, can we give it up to uh, Mike over here on the very end? <laughs> Enjoy the show this weekend, guys. Yes. Thanks for coming out. Thank you, appreciate Mike. y'all. And over here, our sweet angel, Danielle, over here. Can Let's tall her? drink of water. Danielle does anything coming to you very soon. Hopefully some more uh, horse racing commentary. Yeah. The good stuff. <laughs> and then obviously me and Renee. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! Our yes. women's champion, everybody. Yeah, yeah this shit's so, it's so heavy. heavy. It's been nine years. I can't carry championships anymore. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't have the st- bone structure. Not the bone structure, the muscles. <laughs> I don't have we'll the bone structure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for coming along. I know it's late. We appreciate it. Um, and we can't wait to really start going with yeah. Off Topic. And we'll let you know when we drop the official first episode. And yeah, thank you all for coming. And we will see you tomorrow, Sunday, and every yeah. other fucking yeah. day of our life. <laughs> Shit. Get, Get home guys. safe, everybody. Thank yeah, you for coming out. Yeah, take care, you guys. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. All right, everybody, that's it for day one here, StarCast 6 on Premier Streaming Network. Dave Sergio, Emily May, what a, what a day this what a was. Day. Awesome, what a day. awesome, I'm so tired. Favorite part of the day, the game event, and it's not close. It's not I, close. Agreed, I'm sorry, agreed. Absolutely killed it. I have to say, RJ City's uh, show, and just he had so many guests, it was so much fun. Also, an amazing show. Here's the thing. If you're watching this right now and you're saying, the game event, I didn't see that. I watched all day long. Well, that's because that was over on the premiere stage. And guess what? You have that. You own that now, okay? You, you, right? You, not not you. You, thank you. There, you. You own that now. So go enjoy that. And uh, while you're at it, we've been flashing a little uh, promo code. We're going to throw that up one more time maybe on here. You can enjoy all past StarCast. You can enjoy all of the incredible promotions we have. Even uh, some shows like Chop Sports, Fight Factory. Uh, Fight Factory. Yeah, uh, even go way back in the day to some So Says Chernoff. You know, the kind of stuff that, I mean, you know, it, it earned me multiple action figures. And, uh, and oh, what was that thing? The, uh, oh, yeah, International Academy of Web TV Best Host of 2022. That doesn't so, count when you print out your own award. Oh, it's glass. Oh, all right. It's made shelf? of glass. Is that on your it's shelf? Full of it is. It's, in your shelf. it's engraved. It's engraved. I could make one of those. Dave, things. it's engraved. I had also had a premiere shirt that nobody else had today. Cause yeah, I because you, had, cause you know somebody who has a cricket. All right, gentlemen. <laughs> because you know somebody who has a cricket is not the same as getting engraved Gla- yeah. That says my name on it. Yeah, Gentlemen, let's focus. An engraved glass on the, th- on the thing there. So anyway, hey. Oh, Network. are we on the air? Premier Streaming Network. Hey, we had such a great time today. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you tomorrow bright and early. 9 o'clock Central Time, 10 o'clock Eastern. Do not miss it. Day 2 of StarCast 6 on Premiere.